Imagine a tool that scans a 3D object, then replicates it. What if that object is a human face? Introducing David Pogue. The well-known tech journalist will be our guinea pig in 3D face duplication. The first step to making a face replica is to scan the face with a 3D scanner. We're going to start scanning three, two. He'll have to hold this position for several minutes at a time during the scanning process. At last, the scanning process is done. David can finally move again. That was good. That, I have to thank you for that one. Oh, yeah. That was good still. I Years of training. Every night for eight <laughs> hours, I practice not moving. <laughs> David's so-called practice pays off, and the 3D file of his face is successfully created. The first machine we'll use is called the ShopBot, and we'll carve a replica out of foam. It's connected to a computer and we load our new digital 3D faced file. Well, I'm gonna load the STL file that Brandon gave me and put it in the tool pathing software. I'm using high density polyurethane foam. The machine works autonomously, reading from the computer file. When it's done, we give David his new face. Begin making the clone army! <laughs> We get David to take a break from admiring his first minion and move over to the Z Corp 3D printer. This machine will literally print a 3D replica. It uses inkjets to apply glue to thin layers of powder and simply grows the object layer by layer. It reads from the same computer file used by the first machine. Here, we print a scaled, smaller version of David's face. The 3D printer technician brushes away the loose powder. Underneath, the face emerges. That is so cool, because you know I'm always looking for a better way to get ahead. <laughs> Finally, we can rest assured that the world is a better place with two more David Pogues. Of course, scanning faces is just a fun example. We can only begin to imagine how these tools will transform manufacturing in the future.